Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I upgraded my universal laser rotary attachment to do cups and bottles without slipping. The first thing you'll need is a set of hex keys. You'll need a keyless drill chuck. This is a 3 8 inch 24 mount. This is Jacob's brand. I'm not sure if there's other ones out there, but I found these ones fairly inexpensively. You're going to need some powder coating plugs. Um, I have them in assorted sizes. This is for the 30 ounce cup and it is a three and a quarter inch by four inch plug. This one is for my 20 ounce cups and it is a three inch by three and a half inch plug. This one is for bigger bottles and it is two and a quarter by two and five eighths. And then this one is for smaller bottles still, and it is a one and seven eighths by two and oh, somewhere between an eighth and a quarter. Okay, you'll need some three eighths inch 24 thread bolts. I had to cut this one down to about one and a quarter inches because it was too long. You'll need them longer for the bigger plugs and smaller for the smaller plugs because this um, piece right here, the divider, is a little bit thinner on the smaller plugs. You'll need some washers that fit down into your plugs. Um, I like to make sure they have a nice tight fit because it makes them a little bit sturdier once you put the jig together. And that is about it. So what I did to start was I marked the center of my powder coating plugs. And then I just used a knife to kind of hack in through it, but I made sure I got to the center. So the first thing I did is I put my washer that matches the inside of here in there snugly. And then I take my bolt and run it through the end. Make sure you get it in there pretty good. And then I take another washer and put it on the back to give that stability. That is because these things are pretty flexible and you don't want them bending and flexing while you're trying to engrave. Okay, so the next step is to get your keyless chuck. And it's got two ends. This end is the side that you can chuck down onto things. It's adjustable. And this is the end that normally goes on the drill. So we're just going to tighten that end there. Okay. Let's pretend that I have all the tools I need and that's tightened down because this thing will slip unless you tighten it down pretty good. So hold on to here and use a crescent wrench. This one is too big. Um, uh, maybe not. And just keep tightening it until it won't tighten anymore because you don't want that thing slipping once you put it on your um, attachment. So because that one's not per perfectly tight, we're going to use this one as an example. So take your hex key and then on your thing there is a small set screw there. And so you're just going to use your hex key to loosen that and it usually only takes two to three turns to get it loose. And then that pops right off. You'll notice that there's a flat spot on the part there. That is where the hex key goes or that is where the set screw goes so that it won't spin around. And that's also where you're wanting to put the little notches on your drill chuck. So all you have to do is set that on there and it kind of slides itself around and then you just hand tighten it and when you're done it won't go anywhere. This thing is solid. So when you put your cup on and then you tighten this back end up over here obviously but once you do that you don't have any slip at all so if you don't engrave your cup around the first time you can start it again and it will actually start in the exact same spot I noticed sometimes that when I'm using my metal cone that it will have just a tiny bit of slip on that rubber and I can't start it again without it starting in a slightly different place um, the four inch ones obviously you can't even really get on without putting something on them now what I've done on the back end here to make sure it doesn't slip at all, this is that poster tacky stuff that you can find in hardware stores 
Uh, I used it when I was a kid to hang posters on my wall without messing up the paint. But it does a great job of keeping your cups from slipping. If you put it here, um, you have to adjust it every once in a while, just push it, but it stays malleable all the time so it doesn't dry out and it's a great way to keep it from slipping once you put it on there. Um, let's see, where's my bottle at? Okay, the littlest bottle, I did not get a um, plug small enough to fit on there. I thought I did, but I didn't. But it just so happens that my second biggest plug that I showed you actually fits over the end very nicely. Um, there's a tiny bit of slip, so what I will do is just take a little tiny bit of my blue stuff and put it on either side of my bottle. And then when you jam it in here, it's not going anywhere and it will engrave perfectly. And then you just peel it right back off and it's ready for your next bottle. If you guys have any questions, just let me know and I will try to answer them as quickly as I can. I don't get on YouTube a lot, but hopefully this helped you guys a little bit.